Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with some dev responses on the extremely important Gen 12 renderer and Vulcan integration that Cloud Imperium are building into Star Citizen and Squadron 42. Could it be a concern that Star Citizen is going to look dated before release? You want a better looking, better performing Star Citizen that scales across more hardware and is graphically more future proof? That's where the Gen 12 renderer comes in. Various elements of the Gen 12 renderer have been making their way into the game since Alpha 3.5. 14 in 2021. Previously, Cloud Imperium had also said that the Gen 12 renderer will help scale up the game across multiple CPU threads, free up resources and bottlenecks, and utilize Vulkan to improve render thread performance. However, we're going to start seeing the big performance games when they've enabled Gen 12 scene rendering, and eventually they want to paralyze the whole scene rendering and get rid of the entire render thread. And these updates are coming in patch by patch. Now, Cloud Imperium have released a new statement on Gen 12 progress and performance improvements in 3.0. 17, which I will read for you. Hey everyone, it's time for another update on Gen 12, as a lot of exciting things have been happening behind the scenes, and we've been hearing a lot of voices in the community about the recent performance improvements. I'm proud to announce that our first big milestone has been reached with Gen 12 in 3.17. This means all our opaque static geometry, which are bushes and all objects scattered on planets and asteroids, now run through Gen 12, which more than doubles the render th thread performance for these kind of objects. Before you freak out, hold your breath, as this right now actually means nothing in terms of getting more FPS. Internal measurements showed that we're rarely CPU bound by the render thread. Ultimately, this means that a faster render thread doesn't change the overall frame rate in most cases. It also does depend on your CPU GPU combination. However, Gen 12 pretty much makes it impossible to be limited by the render thread ever again, which means every single bit of performance improvement on the main thread will be seen directly on your FPS as long as you're not GPU bound, something which a lot of you have already observed in the latest 3.17 PTU patch. The performance improvements you're seeing are from Christopher Bolt, who did some major improvements in the entity-centric ECUS system, zone host updates, and a lot of other stuff improving the MT main thread performance greatly. Here are some more Gen 12 updates. Internally, all render proxies like ships, characters, and planets are going through the Gen 12 pipeline. They didn't make it in for 3.17, but they will be ready for the next big patch, apparently. A lot of ships on screen tend to be heavy on the render thread, so ship meetups and the like might get big benefits. They would appreciate if someone can test this and then give them some feedback. We're about to turn on Gen 12 Renderer for cube maps and render to textures as well, which lets us kill a lot of the legacy code. Some stuff still needs to be ported, like the planet atmosphere passes, GPU skinning, and gas cloud rendering, which will all be started soon. Major work on the transparent geometry has started. This is the last big milestone we have to finish. Now, there was some editing of this response after it was posted to remove opinions and dates um, on the original post, um, and in regards to that question, they, he then said, I don't expect this to be ready for 3.18, but hopefully for 3.19, my worst case estimate would be 3.20. I just thought people would want to know what the edit was. Um, don't take those time frames with any weight though, because they were edited and removed for a reason, probably because they don't want to give any form of hard dates or opinions on that. The post went on to say, so in all, Gen 12 is looking really promising right now. Render thread performance is more than twice as good and we're almost done with everything. As explained in my previous post, after Gen 12, there are still tons of other improvements planned, which will give us more performance and, of course, Vulcan. One more thing, due to the mixed rendering of Legacy and Gen 12, the engine right now has to go through both rendering codes, which have actually decreased the main thread performance slightly. Once the transparent geometry is ported, we no longer have to do that and we will see the full potential of Gen 12. Until then, stay tuned and fly safe. See you in the verse. So we're going to see more and more of that Gen 12 renderer and Vulkan integration over the next few patches, and some of it is obviously coming in 3.17, and maybe by the end of the year we will have some of the meaty bits. That's what it sounds like, that's what I'm hoping. There was also a thread asking for an explanation for adding shield faces back to size 2 shields, changing them away from bubble shields, because size 1 and size 2 shields become bubble shields, but now they've gone back to having two faces. Cloud Imperium's Yogi Clat has responded. 
it was always planned to give bigger shields more shield control we just didn't get to try it out until now nothing is set in stone either we have several things ready to buff the size two shields if necessary whether it actually is necessary or not we can't judge yet as we didn't get enough players into combat in the PT yet to make a call on this. Balancing is always an ongoing topic, and the builds with balance changes need to be played for a while to see how they transform the combat gameplay, and if players start using different tactics, loadouts, etc. The best thing you can do is keep playing and produce game stats and feedback for us. Where does this leave us with 3.17 then? Well, we don't really know. It's in open PT at the moment. I was hoping that they were going to try to push for a live build for this weekend, assuming they they could get some of the known issues solved. However, it sounds like from that description, they still haven't got enough combat data and general stats data to actually make a call on if everything's balanced enough to even go into a live build. And that said, I might be reading too much into it. Cloud Imperium are um, trying to power through those known issues, and we have recently just had a 3.17 0 UPT patch, which uh, rebalanced atmospheric flight for the M50 Razor and P52 and improved the infantry and ASOP terminal responsiveness, which was very much needed because we were having loads of problems with infantries uh, and those terminals and spawning ships and that sort of stuff. Uh, there's some bug fixes here as well. Mineable asteroids should now be scannable. Killing an AI Hornet pirate should now correctly give combat assistance mission credit. Logging back into a ship bed should now consistently bring players into the persistent universe instead of infinitely low loading them. HUD element in a thought prompts should no longer interfere with the star lifter and moles multifunction displays. The hull A turret should no longer be able to be equipped onto other ships. Players should now be able to equip the hull A noise turret back onto the ship. Player animations should no longer freeze when entering the uh, Rock DS driver seat or mining seat, and rocks should no longer be blocking access to the Caterpillar derelict on Yella. They also fixed a client crash and four server crashes. There's still a big multitude of problems that Cloud Imperium need to solve with the patch, uh, with accessibility, with performance, rubber banding and jankiness, that sort of stuff, but what do you think? When will we see Alpha 3.17 go to live? Will they try and push it for this weekend? Um, will it have problems if they do, and will they have to release their 3.17.1 patch pretty soon afterwards, or some hotfixes? Do you think they're going to instead try and do it next weekend? Some people were saying to me they think it's actually going to be released live in May, which I think is madness, but I mean, it's possible. Stranger things have happened, and I suppose it's going to be based on are there blockers and when do Cloud Imperium need or want to get it out? Do you like the idea of two faces front and back on your size 2 shields? Or do you think the size 1 and size 2 should both be bubble shields? Are you expecting major improvements from the Gen 12 renderer and Vulcan by the end of the year? Or do you think it's going to be a longer road? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I was feeling tired and sluggish. I found out that I was allergic to adverts and malware in 2022, which means I can't use the internet if only there was a service that could help. Wait, there is NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer. It's NordVPN that I use and it blasts away a load of my advert and malware based concerns while allowing me to freely explore the internet. Maybe I want to be in the USA today and pretend that I'm an American. What's this? Now I'm down under in the Australias? Wait, now I'm in the UK. Okay, I, I live there. That is less impressive. NordVPN has done so much for me. Sign up with the links below or go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For April 2022, we're giving away an Origin 400i. It's a luxury exploration and touring ship, which will be great for a small crew wishing to explore the stars or try out a multitude of other gameplay. It's like a little yacht in space, a little piece of luxury. All you need to do to be in for a chance to win that is comment on any of my videos made during April 2022. More details in the description below. If you wish to further support the channel, consider clicking the join button under my videos to become a channel member or even become a Patreon. That goes a massive way in helping with our day-to-day -day videos and gives you a variety of little exclusives as well. But it should just make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Join today! Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if so inclined and I'll see you in the verse.